Hey YouTube viewers, this week on Backyard Effects we show you how to make it rain. This is uh, Kieran from No Guru Films. I'm doing my masters and one of the things I need for this is a great inexpensive rain machine. Now the rain machine is a viewer request from John Lester, Aaron Etchler, and Dark Etsky, all of which wanted a consistent way to make movie rain on the cheap. Now to see how cheap, let's have Gary spin the wheel of prosperity. Oh. Getting busy. Oh. Fifty dollars. Now earlier I said movie rain instead of regular rain on purpose. Now, movie rain needs to have bigger and fatter droplets, otherwise the camera won't pick it up. Don't believe me? Next time it's real raining, grab your video camera and find out for yourself. Shopping list. A 50 foot garden hose, miscellaneous hose fittings, some cheap wood for the frame, zip ties, four eye bolts, and a rope. <laughs> Where am I? Where do you think? No! It's cool, we've still got Threadbanger. Yay! Now here's the basic setup for the rain machine. Using two pieces of wood that are about six feet long, we're gonna make a big X. Now we're gonna reinforce this with smaller pieces of wood, like so. Next, we're going to add four eye bolts here, 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 and here. After that comes the hose, which we're going to coil around the frame that we just built. Now zip tie the hose to our wooden frame, and then go along the hose and drill a hole in the top every four inches. The last step is to cap one end of the hose and add a valve to the other. Super time lapse! Now for this project, I decided to go away from the more traditional PVC rain machine design and the reason being is you might already have an old hose or some old 2x4s laying around the house which is going to make this project really cheap. Now in order to make your rain effect more believable, you're going to want to do a couple things. First, uh, wet down the surrounding area and also shoot in the shade. Uh, we were lucky enough for our test film to have it be an overcast day, but even if it's a bright and sunny day, you can usually uh, wait until later and shoot in the shade of your house or a tall building. If you're using clamp lights, do yourself a favor and buy some true color bulbs. They're a little more expensive, but worth it. Hi, this is Sam from California, and my top um, independent resource sites are creativecow.net for the best, pretty much any software tutorial. People who are just starting to edit their videos, definitely check out windowsmoviemakers.net. CG textures for textures for 3D stuff. The almighty detonationfilms.com. The first one I actually found out of was makeinternettv.org because it has like how to publish your videos, how to promote them, how to edit them. And my favorite, videocopilot.net. Don't worry, Chris Clone. You're gonna go to Clone Heaven. <laughs>